Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. Today is Wednesday and tomorrow, the Black Stars are going to play against Mali in Bamako in the World Cup 2026 qualifiers. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the latest updates coming from the camp of the Black Stars and also latest transfer updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players, which includes Thomas Pate, Lawrence Atizidi, and also Mohamed Kudu's best friend at West Ham. There are a lot of things going on. We are going to discuss that live on Sports Corner GH. So guys, Please make sure to like this video, subscribe, and also turn on notification. Next is our JC giveaway. All you have to do is comment under this video and any other video we drop you on this channel and stand the chance of winning yourself a free JC. All you have to do is also be part of the top three commenters at the end of the month. And also next is our shout out. If your name is on the shout out list, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Samoa Yabua, lovely Sekina, Ebo Penny, the list goes on. Thank you guys very much. Continue to support Sports Corner GH. But then if your name is not here, don't worry, don't be offended. Comment under this video and I'll make sure to bring up your name in the next channel list. We do live here on Sports Corner GH. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it and let's talk about the Black Stars. Yesterday, the Black Stars arrived at Bamako in the evening. So they had to rest. They did not do any training yesterday. But then we are happy they arrived safely and I brought you that video live here on Sports Corner GH. Now the reports we are receiving concerning the Black Stars is that today they will hold a press conference. And for that press conference, Otoado and also Thomas Pate would be in seats to answer all your questions concerning the preparation of the Black Stars for the particular game they are going to play against Mali. And that game, honestly, Ghanaians are very confident that the Black Stars are going to win. I've not seen Ghanaians so confident about a game before like this particular one. So Thomas Pate, Otoado and the rest of the boys need to get the job done. We'll make sure to bring you videos, visuals and also statements once the press conference and we'll make sure to bring it to you, yeah? Life here on Sports Corner GH. Also, 26 players are in camp. Everyone is fit, no injuries. And today, they are going to hold their first training session in Bamako. And this is like a last minute preparation towards the game they are going to play against Mali. Tactical one, tactical one. They are going to do one indoors, they are going to do one outdoor. So it's more tactical today for the Black Stars. We'll make sure to bring you more update on that. But then, Today, there are games going to be played in the World Cup 2026 qualifiers. And there is one that will catch the interest of Ghanaians and also the Black Star players, which is Central African Republic versus Chad. Trust me, we just pray that they play draw. Go, let's draw. Once they can do that, advantage to Ghana. As simple as that. So we'll make sure to follow up on all this and bring you more updates live here on Sports Corner GH. But guys, this is the latest update coming from the camp of the Black Stars. No injuries, 26 players in camp, everybody's fine. Today, they'll be doing training, both indoors and outdoors, and more tactical training. And also, the press star, Thomas Pate and Otoado, will be in seat to answer every single question. Next, let's talk about latest transfer updates. And we are going to talk about the captain of the Black Stars, Thomas Pate. Now, we all know Thomas Pate has fallen out of favor with Arsenal board Mikel Ateta just because of two reasons. One, because of his injury record, and two, because of his age. But then, Thomas Pate's quality is not in question at all. We all saw him. When he recovered from injury, he played very well for Arsenal. And even Arsenal fans were asking the board to renew his contract. But then we know that teams are interested in Thomas Partey, looking at the fact that his price tag is something within their budget. 20 to 25 million euros. Clubs such as Barcelona, Juventus, even Saudi Arabian clubs are interested in him. If you go to Turkey, Galatasaray, also Fanabachi, all these clubs are interested in Thomas Partey. The latest update we have received is that Thomas Pate has rejected the move to Fanabachi. Fanabachi has a new coach, Justin Moreno. Fanabachi, we have a Ghanaian player in there, which is Alexander Jiku. I still don't get the reason why Thomas Pate rejected that move. But then, I mean, this is the report we are getting. And then we are just bringing it to you. But Thomas Pate prevents a move to another place. I don't know what happened, but I will make sure to get you more information on that because there are teams who are currently interested in Thomas Pate. I think Thomas Pate still hopes that Arsenal probably might give him a chance to renew his contract because he only has one year left on his contract, which will expire in the next season, June. So guys, this is the latest update concerning Thomas Pate. We'll make sure to follow up on this and bring you more updates and life here on Sports Corner GH. Let's move away from Thomas Pate and talk about Black Star goalkeeper Lawrence Atizigi, who has been very good 
for his club side in the Swiss League, St. Gallen. He had 37 appearances in the just ended season and kept six clean sheets for the club. Now, there is a German Bundesliga club who is interested in signing Lawrence Atizigi, and the name of this club is called VFL Butchum. VFL Butchum. Now, VFL Butchum just survived relegation. They survived relegation by playing a relegation playoff and they survived through penalties. Now, that's not the only thing. They just ended the season in the Bundesliga. They conceded 74 goals. And the club sat down with the coach and the board. And they saw that, see, if they have to go into the next season in the German Bundesliga, they need to solve their goalkeeping issues. And they have identified Lawrence Atizigi as a suitable candidate for that particular in a row. But then the question has to you, or the, the, the standing block currently is not with the player, it's with the Swiss club, which is Sunderland. They need to agree with terms with the German club. But the representatives of Lawrence Atizigi and Lawrence Atizigi himself have no issue moving to a German Bundesliga club because that is an upgrade for Lawrence Atizigi. Looking at him from Swiss League to German Bundesliga, he's going to play against Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Liverpool, Stuttgart. These are big teams he's going to play against. If he's able to do well, who knows? The sky is the limit for Lawrence Atizigi. So he is happy for this move. But then the Swiss League, which, uh, the Swiss club, which is St. Gallen, needs to agree terms with uh, Butcham and see if they can agree on a certain amount to sign the player. So, guys, we'll make sure to follow up on this and bring you more updates on this because, you know, Lawrence Atizigi's representatives have already spoken to VFL Butcham. They have agreed on terms and everything. It's just left with the two clubs to sort things out. And we'll bring you more updates on it live in response from my GH. Lastly, Let's talk about Mohamed Kudus' best friend at West Ham. When Mohamed Kudus left Ajax and arrived at West Ham, he didn't know anyone in the club. In fact, he was very lonely in the first three to five days until he met a Ghanaian player at West Ham called Joseph Annan. Now, that Ghanaian player, Joseph Annan, was West Ham's third choice goalkeeper. And then these two grew very closely. Mohamed Kudus and Joseph Annan, wherever they go in London, these two, they always go together. Whether it's a concert, whether they are going to eat, whether they are going to visit someone, they mostly go together. Even when Mohamed Kudus arrived at London, West Ham, he was being you know, shown around by Joseph Annan because he didn't know anyone. They were very, very close. And they became very good friends at West Ham. But Joseph Annan at West Ham, we have never seen him be in goalposts for West Ham. Whether be it APL, whether be it in Europa League, he has never been in goalposts. But then he's the third choice goalkeeper. He's always on the bench. He's always in the substitute you know, list. But then the latest update we are receiving is that after seven years without a first team game with it, Joseph Annan would be leaving West Ham, which is very sad. Well, that's Mohamed Kudus' best friend at West Ham. He will be leaving because his contract expires in June 30th. So at the end of probably it's already in June. So at the end of June, he becomes a free agent and he needs to look for a club. But then when he was at West Ham, he went on loan. He went on loan to different, different clubs and things. But then at West Ham itself, they didn't trust him enough to give him game minutes to actually play. And I really sad for the player. He had a very beautiful journey. He was born in Ghana here and then moved to London when he was a teenager. Joined West Ham Academy through a scholarship program and was given a professional contract in 2018. So from 2018 to date, he has been with West Ham, which is closely seven years and he has to leave the club. So guys, this is the latest update concerning Joseph Annan, Mohamed Pidu's best friend at West Ham. And this is where we end today's video. We'll make sure to bring you more updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players when it comes to transfer and also updates from the Black Star team comes live on Sports Connor GH. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go vibe.